Hey folks, so today we're going to be checking out Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace. You know when I first saw this I thought I had something to do with Batman. Unfortunately it does not. <laughs> well, well, maybe fortunately. It's, uh, it's set in the H.P. Lovecraft world and uh, sort of the Cthulhu mythos, mythos. So you're dealing with cults, elder gods, all that kind of good H.P. Lovecraft stuff. Don't really know anything about the game. Uh, only released on the 23rd of March, I picked it up yesterday, it's fairly cheap, so we're just going to start a new game. Shrewd advice, your progress is recorded in the notebook, remember to check it, check on it from time to time. So what have we got here? So I guess this is an RPG. And it's kind of turn-based. Harvey Walters, the professor. Mental resistance, 45%. Mentoring. Harvey increases range for the group's magic and ranged attacks. Wow, okay. Investigation search, combat. Initiative weak, melee weak, ranged average and magic is average. Okay. Welcome to Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace. Who will be your investigator for this adventure? So we've got to choose a character. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Down. Okay. So this is like characters. Move aside, like. boys. It's my turn. There's no time like the present. Move aside, boys. It's my turn. That's my cue to play. Jim Culver, the musician. Ooh, I like the musician. I'm ready to investigate. The scientist. I'm prepared. The painter. It's my time. In the oh, <laughs> William Yorick, the grave digger. We may go the grave digger. I guess he's like the tank. I heed the Lord's call. And the cook, who is also religious. I guess maybe she's like a cleric kind of type. Well, let's, let's read them. Getting a bit excited here already. Move There's no time like the so this guy increases the group's range Move magic. Aside, boys. It's my Jenny turn. cannot be inflicted with a restrained condition. That's my cue to play. Jim increases the group member's mental resistance. I'm ready to investigate. Kate has reduced chance to trigger traumas during investigation. I'm prepared. Safina heals her group more when using healing items or spells, so I guess she's more like the sort of healer character. It's my time. William has Spotlight. more chance to resist negative condition effects. I heed the Lord Zoe's melee attacks deal more damage, so It's my time. I heed the Lord's call. It's my time. I think I'm gonna go the the grave digger. Let's see here what we got. William Yorick has long desired to make a name for himself on the stage. Oh, so he's also an aspiring actor. I'm kind of an aspiring actor. Alas, having seen him in a performance of the Scottish play, Macbeth, I fear he shall never distinguish himself on the boards. So unfortunately, he's not that good at being a uh, Shakespearean actor. To earn a living, he turned to work as a grave digger, and no one can say he shies away from hard labour. So do s some do say, however, that in the lonely hours after a funeral, William performs scenes for the dead whether or not they appreciate his performance no living can say damn so he does like alas poor Yarek Anu Hamoratio for the dead possibly using a real skull hmm William Yorick and his name is Yorick alas poor Yorick Bill Yorick Billy Yorick I think we might have to go Billy Yorick let's have a look uh, at some of the other look at this musician Jim Culliver plays his trumpet at Velma's Diner he inherited the instrument from his father who played in nightclubs. I visited in my younger days. From what I've heard, Jim's father passed along not only the trumpet but also his talent. Of course, people exaggerate, but the gossip is that Jim's playing made the widow Jenkins leap out of her coffin and dance at her own funeral. Nonsense, of course, but that is the sort of story that makes the more superstitious residents of Arkham avoid Velma's diner when he's playing. Damn, so he's like a supernatural musician. Eh, hey, what about the painter? Let's see what, what's her biography. A Tahitian artist of extraordinary talent, Safina Russo makes more money for her reproductions of others' work than for her original paintings. I can understand why, having seen her perfect recreations, I can down the tiniest brush stroke. I myself am fortunate enough to have a copy of Edward Hopper's House by the Railroad in my office. Her recent work Cause quite a start with their depiction of an alien city she calls Carcosa. Unlike her reproductions, these paintings seem almost real, like a photograph but with perfect colour and depth. 
Mm, no, I Grave think we're definitely going to go the Grave Digger. It's too. Man. He's too tempting not to go. He's an aspiring actor who acts for the dead and digs graves. We go on this guy. Yep, I'm sure. I want to use this investigator. Billy Yorick. So I can say, alas, poor Yorick, I knew him Horatio. I can't remember the rest of that quote, but I'll find out. During combat overwatch allows you to attack the first enemy. Oh, didn't get to finish that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wilhelmina Tillingist, professor of astronomy at Miskatonic University. All my life I have dedicated myself to the study of celestial objects. Most recently I visited Louisiana to observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. I hoped the trip would provide me with the evidence required to conclude my decades-long research. Yesterday, you received my telegram requesting that you meet me at my house, just outside Arkham. And so, you've decided to join me in my mansion. The esteemable professor suggested a desire to organize a theatrical extravaganza. At last, a patroness who recognizes my talent. Okay, so I've got a PS4 control pad plugged in, which is instantly recognized. I didn't, I wasn't sure if this could be used by a control pad or a mouse and keyboard. But just there, the the, the pad which was lying right next to me and rumbled and gave me a bit of a fright. So let's. I guess let's try and use the pad. Always, always better to use the pad if we can. So the esteemable professor suggested a desire to organize a theatrical extravaganza. At least a patroness who recognizes my talent. Okay, cool. Welcome to my mansion, my friend. I'd better ring the bell. Camera control, right or hold down the right button. Okay. Ah, okay. Moving. L. Oh, I'm loving this already. This is pretty cool. I do love a good HP Lovecraft setting. Let's have a look around. So the art style. We're kind of like, yeah, we're not, we're not cartoonish. But we kind of almost looks animated. I wonder what the 25-7 up there means. 25 probably the hit points, 7 maybe like magic. Oh, answer me. Wait, uh, Hamlet's talking to a ghost in that one. Uh, bad choice. Oh, ho, ho, we're getting some Shakespeare. I love this. Oh, how rude of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. Probably should turn the volume up a little bit. There's a light coming from that second floor window. Well, she must be home. Let the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Or I could just let myself in. <laughs> scenario objective. Each scenario is a set of specific objectives to complete to progress to the next scenario. These objectives are displayed in your notebook and are updated as you complete them. Press the main middle pad button to access a notebook or click on the notebook icon on the left of the screen. Meet with Professor Tillinghast. Professor Tillinghast. It's a very posh name altogether. I'm going to have to resist those accents but I probably won't be able to. Find another way in. So ring the bell don't want to find another way in. There's no answer to the door but one of the second floor's lights is turned on. Okay. You arrived at my modest manor home in Arkham, invited personally by me, Professor Wilhelmina Tillinghast. When I failed to answer the door, you understood at once something was amiss. After all, I'm hardly one of those absent-minded 
biddies whose minds wander off at the slightest distraction. Quite reasonably, you search for another way inside the house to ensure I was well. Okay, uh, I'm just going to, uh, let's see. going to turn the volume up a little bit. Especially the voice. Should be fine for that. Yeah, I love it when these games that you off Steam instantly recognise you're using a PS4 control pad. Sometimes it sets default pad to like the the Xbox layout. But uh, this one has automatically detected that we are a PS4 user. But yeah, I love I love that neat little touch. Okay, so a magnifying glass icon is displayed over objects you can investigate. Okay, Sherlock's time. As you've tested before, the front door is locked and it seems to be locked from inside. Okay, so I can't go up the stairs, can't go and check the door. Guess we've got to find somebody else. What about this car? What's going on with the car? This is definitely Professor telling us car, the engine appears to be cold. Yep, got that. So it's going to accelerate. Keeps flashing up accelerate. Or oh, is that me that can accelerate, but perhaps? Ah, okay, it makes me walk faster. I thought I meant accelerate the car, but it just makes me walk slightly faster. Okay, what about this? The ornament seems to be used as a roundabout for vehicles. Perhaps we can climb. Box beneath the first floor window seems to invite you to take that way inside, but it looks to be shut tight. It's no problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. I'd need to smash the glass to get inside. I hope you aren't thinking what I fear you're thinking. No, if she's talking what I to need us. need is something heavy to smash this window. Okay. If Professor Tellinghast is talking to us, is that a ghost talking to us? Because I have a feeling she's being murdered, and this is like a murder mystery thing. Really don't know much about it, other than it's set in the H.P. Lovecraft mythos. It only caught my eye because the Arkham title, I thought it was a Batman thing. And I, I noticed it was like a turn-based RPG, so it's like, okay, that'll be cool. Turns out it's H.P. Lovecraft, which is equally awesome. Maybe even more awesome. Some interactions with objects may ask you to choose the best action out of several possible actions. Those are called complex interactions. Okay. A wheelbarrow stands abandoned on the lawn. Perhaps you'll find someone inside to help you break the window. Look through. Quick look. Uh, we'll have a thorough look. We ain't going nowhere. A wire cutter. Okay. It's not like it's heavy enough to smash windows, but that's kind of cool. Quest I am found. And whose car is this? My car? Which you arrived before leaving? You should meet. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm gonna try to leave. We'll just try to find a way into the house. Wire cutters. Is that, is that gonna be enough to smash a window? I would think so. How dare you smash my window? I hope you intend to have it replaced. Now, again, is that a ghost? Because if you're a ghost, well, that's terrifying. But. What light through yonder window breaks? It is my elbow! Ouch! Now, <laughs> where is the professor? Nice, I'm loving the Shakespearean quotes. A 
A beautiful piano. You don't recall the professor mentioning that she could play it. Judging from the dust on the instrument, you doubt it sees much use. Ooh, a painting. A large painting of a comet hurtling through the night sky. It seems the professor's interest in astronomy coloured her taste in art as well. Duly noted. It's a chest. We can't examine the chest. The most intriguing thing in the room we can't even open. Okay. What about a bookcase? Nil pois for the bookcase. Okay. Oh, we've got some a nice uh, assortment of, of alcohols. Kind of making me want to drink, but we should probably keep on going. Open the door. A broken vase. The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't Ooh. have just left it here. The signs of an intruder. I'm pretty sure we're going to find this woman dead. I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode. Especially when expecting visitors. Hope she ain't talking me about from beyond her. the grave, but it's cool if she is. Okay, so I guess we examine this. You know this game kind of reminds me of like Broken Sword, the Broken Sword games that were like 3D. With like, it's half, half action, half detective game. Anyway, see if that's thoughtful there. Shards of some fragile object, now shattered, lie on the ground. Perhaps it's a clue. An unsuitable action makes the mythos, mythos clock go faster. Okay, don't know what that means. Manipulate, put together. We, we wouldn't, we wouldn't put that together, so let's go in and manipulate. Whoa. Pads, pad rumbled there. Th through your investigations, you may draw the attention of the great old ones. Like Cthulhu and such. Ooh. Elder gods. Ooh. Lovecrafty and elder gods. I'm loving this. This is called Mythos. The Mythos clock fills up each time an unsuitable action is chosen during a complex interaction at the end of a full round of combat. When the Mythos clock is full, the Great Old Ones will intervene to slow you down, be on your guard. Damn, I'm not even really sure fully what that means, but okay. Okay, so we weren't supposed to manipulate, we were supposed to put it together. A closer inspection of the fractured object reveals there's a vase. Based on a position, you think it fell from the small table nearby since the fragments are free of dust. You deduce it broke recently. Good work. That scream came from upstairs. Damn, okay. That sounds like my voice. I must need help. Professor, was that you? Of course it was. Hurry! No answer. There must be someone else in the house. I ought to find a weapon. Okay. She's totally losing sanity. Oh no, another thing to think about. Certain events will force a sanity check. Each investigator's mental resistance score determines their chance of success to resist it. When sanity reaches zero, the investigator in question suffers from a trauma, which gives them a penalty. Okay, that's an interesting, interesting mechanic. So what have we got? We got looks like a weapon there. Yeah, uh, look through. Okay, a sharp blade. Stick them with the pointy end. Durability in you, cost three action points, damage six to seven. Critical hit, 30%, okay. Looking inside, you spot what might be someone useful. You found a knife. You found a weapon while searching. Select the weapon by pressing X. Move the cursor with left stick to the empty slot and press X again, okay. X. Cool. I'm noticing that it says bullets, cartridges, and shells. So awesome! We get guns in this. We we get like a tactical RPG with guns. Yes, yeah, is seeing pretty damn pretty damn cool game. <laughs> Close the inventory by pressing the circle button or right-click mouse button. Okay, we'll circle button. Is this a dagger I see before me? I should hold on to that. 
This is no time for what Shakespeare, are women. You doing with my letter opener? Well, we're coming to save you, hopefully. We would hope. Speaking of saving. <laughs> Right, so do we go upstairs first? And it seems we can do some investigation around here. Probably should do some investigation. Maybe find another weapon. Shurak, containing what you assume are Professor Shoes, chances are she hasn't left the house. No, I think she did. Praise you, this is a murder mystery. It does seem very Cluedo esque. Professor and such. Seems that this door's locked. It's a good thing that it's not where you want to go. Yeah, no, we may go upstairs. Well, let me just check. Let me just check everything. Can't go this way, gotta go upstairs. Yep. The scream must have come from the other side of this door. That's my office door. Locked, eh? There must be a key around here somewhere. Oh, this door. This door doesn't lead to where a professor telling us does. Okay. This door doesn't also lead to where a professor telling us does. Mm, it's a nice house that she's got here. Oh, another door here. I oh know it's a pin. Pin of cats. All ladies tend like cats, but you do admit it emits a sense of calm. Ah, bathroom. A well built cabinet. Force open, force lock. Seems to be the right one, the right answer. Bandages, ah, cloth bandage, simple. Okay. Okay. Reflection gazes back at you from the scrupulously clean bathroom mirror. Where is the key to get in here though? Check this door, what have we got? Okay. <gasps> Creepy looking like nursery thing. Okay. Children's toys are laid out around the room so carefully that you doubt a child would ever touch them. Oh, that's a bit creepy. This guy. Who goeth? Ahem. Uh, who goes there? I'll ask the questions. Roland Banks, Bureau of Investigation. I'm on the job. Who are you? And what's your reason for being here? What would a federal agent want with me? William Yorick, Master Thespian at your service. The good professor requested my presence to discuss a performance of some sort. Judging by the scream we heard, it appears to have begun without me. Seems like I'm on the right track. Something hinky's going on here. Is Professor Tillinghast a suspect in some crime? 
She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. Ooh, some culty, culty Cthulhu business, no doubt. She has a will to do... I came passion. to find out what she knows, if anything. Then I heard the scream, too. Seems we need a key to get inside that room. I wasn't prepared for so many guests today. I'll help you find that key. Cool, I thought you were a murderer. Coming to give me some murdering. Roland Banks, new investigator, open character sheet. I first met Agent Ronald Banks when he visited my home to ask me whether I knew anything about some strange group of people. Oh, I told you it's a cult. It's a Cthulhu cult. He seemed to have little more than vague rumours to investigate. And to be honest, I still don't entirely understand what he was after. Still, he seemed honest, if not open. And he has the broad shoulders and quiet confidence one likes to see in members of the Bureau of Investigation. He certainly appeared to be the sort of person one would call for help. Perfect aim. Roland has more of a chance dealing a critical hit in combat. Damn, nice. Strong ranged, probably with a gun. Weak magic. Okay, investigation logical. Traumas, daydreaming. Cigarette addicted. Urge to smoke cigarette, low. <laughs> Inaccurate. Slightly less chance of getting critical hit. Okay, that's, that's all very interesting. So, it looks like the 28 is health, hit points. And the 7 is like, I guess, our mental energy? So he has a little more mental energy and a little more health than William Yorick, our grave digging thespian. Uh, okay, let's go with this key. Okay, this is a likely spot for a key to be hiding. If I was a key and a professor telling us this house, I probably would be in her bedroom. Maybe in a chest at the end of the bed. Okay, tip. Knowledge physical. I could shake it. I wouldn't... So shake was the right thing to do. You open the chest to find it's full of books. Lying atop of them is a single sheet of paper on which is written a recipe for apple fritters. Peel, core and slice the apples across, but not too thin. Dip them in frying batter. Remove one at a time with a fork and drop carefully in the fryer. Remove from the fryer when they reach pale golden brown, then drain. Dust with powdered sugar and serve with a slice of lemon. Banana fritters can be cooked in the same way. Wow. No key though. Ah, there's a hiding behind the book. Cigarettes. A pack of smokes, just to think of calm the nerves. Sanity plus one, but damage to self also plus one. Good. Smoking has a... Yeah. Uh, I don't want to use the item. I want to move the item. Let's give him this guy. There's only one cigarette in it. Oh, even though it looks like there's more. It's a pretty cool mechanic though. I don't think I've ever seen cigarettes in a game. But it's good that it's not encouraging kids to smoke because it damages you. <laughs> nice touch. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing else in here. I'm surprised. Oh. I thought this is where the key would be. No key here. Okay. You know what this also kind of reminds me of is the game Alone in the Dark, the old game. You had to go into a mansion and... Yeah. Still all locked, hmm. I've done all three of these ones. Maybe it's back downstairs. Because there isn't anything else I can investigate up here. Can we go down there? Is it going to let us go down? Okay, it's letting us go down. Let's see what we've got. Square brings up our inventory. R2. I guess that's our character sheets. Triangle. A map. Okay.
Yeah, it's strange. Where would the key possibly be? This is only the start of the game. Should make it too cryptic. Maybe together we can force the door? No option to like lock pick it. Can I talk to this guy? No option to talk. Don't tell me I won't have to look up look up a, a hint already. Where to find the key? Thing is this game's so so new I don't think anybody's done a let's play of it yet. So it won't probably won't be a walkthrough, it's like two day a two day old game. I say I only bought it I only got found it interesting because I thought it was something to do with Batman. Because of the Arkham. Okay, I don't know what we did this. Move things around empty. An infant's crib obviously not brand new but well cared for. Move things. Ah, oh, there we go. It's hiding in there. Among other ornaments, a key tagged office hangs from the mob. Oh, it's hanging from that. I didn't see it. Yeah, well, I could have place to keep a spare key. Touche. There's a key on this mobile. My files say Tillingus has no children. If that's true, why would she need a nursery? I agree, Roland, that is quite a creepy the Professor tenderness. always wished for children, even long after she grew too old to have them. Oh, I can't say it isn't true. I wish people were less prone to idle gossip. People love idle gossip. Okay, so should be going here now. Has she been murdered? Is there suspicions? Is there suspicions? Oh, it says I clicked that too fast. You'll encounter enemies, it said. And I didn't. Okay. Unlock. The key fits in the door, and you unlock the door. What? Call tests. An intruder. How many people can I expect to break into my house today? Who are you? He's a cult guy, look at him. Marship Scafilla. Listen, pal, you've got some explaining to do. Come then, I have just the explanation you deserve. Do I see some combat? Cool, okay, okay, this is cool. On guard, base villain. Okay. Combat is turn-based. Every character acts one after the other without time constraints. The order of each attacker is based on their initiative roll. That's some Dungeons & Dragons stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, the star of combat and displayed at the top of the screen on the initiative bar. Okay. Action points. Each character has five action points to spend each turn. Each action has a specific action point cost. Once validated, an action point, an action cannot be undone except for movement. Confirm. There are three types of weapon, melee, ranged and spellbook. Each investigator has a different aptitude with the various weapon types. This aptitude will affect the action point cost of the attack. Okay. So we are... We are Yorick, William Yorick first. A punch, two action points. Hmm, I have a knife. Curl your finger. Oh no, okay, 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 okay. So. Ah, there we go. That's where you select the knife. Right, knife. Cost two action points, damage one to three. So the knife. Oh no, no, wait, wait. The punch does one to three. The, the knife does one to six. I guess we go knife. So we got the knife. Possible to reach him from here. Okay, so we need, we need to move then. Move. Confirm your position. 
right here stabbing distance and then knife yep oh crack we heard them for a living yeah 12 points I took them down at one with a slash damn this is cool once you're out of action points or want to end your turn with a specific investigator you can select the end turn action Cool, this is, this is like Baldur's Gate 3. This turn based game. Overwatch, what the hell is Overwatch? This action, this investigate will prepare to attack, even if it's not their turn. The first enemy that moves within their weapon's range. Okay. Okay. Right. Got you. Cancel that, end turn. You have one action point remaining and end your turn. End turn. And we get to shoot the guy. <laughs> Revolver. 78 points. Critical hit. 15%. Yeah, let's do that. Shoot him down. Shot through the heart. 8 points of damage. What's going on? This game's awesome, guys. I, I love this already. This is... Some murder mystery, Cthulhu cultists, turn-based action RPG. Yeah, I'm liking it. We'd better have a look inside. I got a feeling she's dead. We get them bandages. Let me take them. Remember to re reload your weapons after each fight. You can reload from the inventory, select your weapon, and then the reload option. Okay, let's do that. Let's check how that works. But where's the... Oh, he's got the bullets. So he's got like four bullets. And five in the chamber. So he's got like, yeah, he's got like nine bullets. And a knife. Cool. I knew it. More cultists. Who in blazes are you? Damn, they're doing some kind of ritual. It's not just a murder, it's like a ritualistic sacrifice Cthulhu, elder gods, some nonsense Angels going on. Ministers of Grace defend us. Wait. That's me. That is it. It's my body. She's talking to us from beyond the grave. Wow, this is cool. That's Professor Tillingus, all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. We need to stop them. Okay. So they've got 12 points each. There's only, there's only two of them and two of us. We got this. Okay, so. Movement first with this guy. Here. And stabby stabby, or slashy slashy even. Six. Take that. Yeah, one action point's not enough. Eh, uh, no, okay. They're trying... Yeah, I may as well just shoot that one guy. Because then he probably will go down. Yes! One dead cultist. I wonder if we can loot them. Eh... Uh, that is three action points. I wonder if I can... Is she close enough to punch? Don't look really like it. Okay, I just end turn. Two action points remaining. Uh, does, does moving cost action points? It must do. And then can I punch? No. 
one action point. So it costs one action point to move. Probably going to get slashed for six. After all your characters have had their turn, the Mythos clock fills up. Be on your guard. So that Mythos clock can like bring the Elder Gods into the situation. This is cool. Seven. Oh. Maybe I'm too close for the ranged. Nope. Point blank headshot. Twelve. <laughs> oh. Critical, no wonder, it's right next to the head. Who were Jesus, those that's brutal. This wasn't just a burglary. No, this was not a burglary. This is some this is some ritualisticness going on here, some dark arts. You're right about that. It must be connected to my investigation. We better have a look around. Okay, so I guess we investigate. Oh, there's a plane card on the floor there. And we both took mental damage by looking at the glyph on the floor. A large glyph has been painted on the floor, apparently in blood. Your certain professor telling us was deliberately killed above it. What you aren't certain of is why. You feel the stability of your mind shatter, sanity check. An ill sign. That end drawn in blood. My nice clean floor. Ruined. Yeah. That Most looks like fun. some kind of cult symbol. This ain't a garden variety burglary. To your horror, you recognise the body is definitely that of Professor Telling Us, and there's no question she's dead. Yeah, and her blood is painted on the floor. Eh. Uh, oh, do I pat her down? Let's pat down. Oh, that was the wrong choice. The Mythos clock advanced. A deep weeping wind on her abdomen appears to be the cause of death. Judging by the wetness, it appears she was killed recently. You feel the stability of your mind shatter again. Oh no, why was I completely shattered? Such a brutal death. Even Shakespeare would hesitate to dispatch a kindly old scholar in such a manner. Despite my age, I had much more to do in life. This wound on her stomach, it looks like she was knifed. Clock continues ticking away the seconds, inconsiderate of a terrible crime the poets assure us could have stopped its function. Okay, the desk drawer is locked, you'll need to open it before searching inside. Find flaws, lock pick. Mm, find flaws. Right decision. Inside the drawer are tucked various notebooks. At a glance, you find nothing related to the murder, but it's clear that Professor Tillinghast was in the habit of recording even trivial events in her life. Look at these notebooks. Is this the Professor's handwriting? It is, but how would you know? There's no useful information here, but perhaps Professor Tilling has kept notes on this material in another location. Fragments of glass glitter on the floor, you can't tell at a glance what object they once formed. Put together, manipulate. Eh, we'll try put together. 
seems the right decision. We assemble most of the shower container, you see a flask that probably came from a laboratory. You can make out the printed words MISC MISCA unit. Some in uni, uni, university science lab, maybe, I don't know. What's mm. this mess? Yeah, a broken jaw, a flask. You can make out a few letters. Miss Miskatonic University Science Lab. That's simple enough. Well, I got University Science Lab, but not the Miskatonic. We found everything we're liable to find here. Time to see where the evidence leads us. And so my friend set out to discover how I was killed. Why well, we know the how? I think it's more the why we need to know. Oh, I know we get our like our creepy intro video. Artifact Studios presents Arkham Horror Horror Mothers and Babies. Oh, a creepy graveyard. Damn, that was cool. I like, I like the time drawn art style. You managed to say sane. Professor telling us was found dead in her own home, but what happened appears to be members of a cult. What happened? Wait. Professor telling us was found dead in her home by what appears to be members of a cult. What happened? So enter the mansion, find Professor telling us, find out what happened. No trauma from from Puriotic pure, and Roland Banks. Your investigators are returning to the office. Search of my office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Not only did I work there, but the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic. Onward then. Group selection. You need to select a group that will continue the investigation in the next scenario. Build a group based on the challenge you expect to face in the field. Review the investigator's strengths as needed in your notebook. So we only have the two. And can we only select one of the two? Ah, yeah, we can only so we only have the two. So, she sure want to use these investigators. Well, these are the only two we have right now, so we have got to go with yes. Ah, right, I take our equipment, office and equipment. At the end of a scenario, all the items you've collected on your investigation are stored here. Before I head now again, make sure that you have assigned weapons, accessories, and items to your investigators. Okay. He's got his trusty knife. It's done him good so far. Yeah, we need bandages just in case, because attacks were pretty, pretty hefty. Gun, but no bullets, but he does have bullets. We need to remember to reload his gun. Oh, he barely reloaded right away. And give me cigarettes. As they increase. Insanity should he need it. Okay, I guess we're ready to go. Uh, no, we don't want that. Lost scenario, okay. Yep. Keep an eye on your investigators' health points and do not hesitate to use bandages between fights. Shrewd advice. Welcome to Miskatonic University. 
home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. Ooh, occult books, awesome. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Well, we can only hope. Science and astrophysics are all very well if what you want is a good job. I, of course, prefer the drama department. Of course you do, Yorick. You're a thespian, of course. Oh, it has changed over the years. But no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. All right, let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. Exploration and Combat Overlay. The overlay is available in both Exploration and Combat by pressing R2 or clicking on the icon representing the three investigators at the bottom of the screen. Displayed by default are statistics for your current group, Mythos, Trauma and Conditions. Yeah, okay. Got it. So I guess we came in this door. Yeah, okay. Shell full of trophies, all inscribed for the Miss Astronomy Club. You wonder what sort of astronomy event results in a trophy? In question, what does result in a trophy? I think we'll look at the first floor before we go upstairs. Doors that. Dr. Hen Henry Wallace. Hmm. I'm another fail folder. Look inside your spot. What might be something useful? Epinephrine. Eph Epinephrine. Am I pronouncing that right? Show off epinephrine. A real jolt to the system. Revive. Revive at 50% health. So that's like a. If you die, resurrect kind of thing. Okay. Let's take that. Hmm. A little shot of epinephrine. Always useful. A note left on a bench a student sits on catches your eye and reads. I can't stop thinking about the queer old book with its strange writing. Even holding it in my hand seems to drain my strength. As if it were some sort of vampire sucking away my energy. When Professor Tilling has caught me with it, she confiscated it once. I haven't seen it since. Ooh, per perhaps it is the Necronomicon. Of hate Lovecraftian, but also Evil Dead lore. Here's telling his office on the left, Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Professor Tillinger's door is locked. But of course, my friend, academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research. And present it as their own. The very notion. We'd better ask Withers for the key. I see no, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillingus' death and we... Not again. 
Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane. And you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillinghast. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense. No, Professor Withers, she's right. We have seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillinghast, but we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural, to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? Parapsychologist, that means like ghosts and stuff, you know, like Ghostbusters. Like, who are you going to call? A parapsychologist. To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. Agatha Crane. That's almost like Agatha Christie. Okay. Oh, we have a new we have a new character. Okay, Agatha Crane, the parapsychologist. Who are you going to call? Agatha Crane. Professor Agatha Crane made her reputation in mathematics and psychology, two fields I would never expect someone to combine. Surprising us even more, she turned those studies to the outer fields of parapsychology and the occult. Some of the others might smile at her behind their hands, but I find their stories and speculations highly entertaining, even if they're no more than a bunch of balderdash. On alert, Agatha increases the group members' initiative in combat. Nice. So she's strong, strong initiative, average melee attack, average range and average magic. Traumas, daydreaming, she's an initiative is slightly lowered, minimalist, chance of breaking an item in your inventory low, monophobia, chance of sanity loss when last standing in combat low. Okay, cool. And then there were three. The gravedigger, the policeman, and the parapsychologist. Good team. Ah, bullets. Well, I'm just going to steal your bullets. Uh, hope you don't mind. Now we show a telescope. Small telescope point the window peering through it. You must look away for the bright light of the sun. No doubt the view is better at night. Professor Norman Withers stands before you, puffing his cheeks impatiently. I know you wish to search the observatory, but for the life of me I can't imagine what you expect to find there. We won't know until we go, bro. Another point of data. Good. Ooh. Found cabin is open and said you find something interesting. What do we find interesting? A search the observatory. I don't know what this does. Yeah. Don't really tell us what we find interesting. I guess we go to the observatory. This goes back to administration. We already have the information we need.
Yeah, if I was an observatory, I'd be on the upper floor. Oh, map. A oh, billboard. A built-in board includes a map of the first floor of the science and astronomy building, complete with a big red you are here arrow. It doesn't actually let us see that. There we go. Ah, the old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel. But I shall always remember this one more fondly. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. The plot thickens. Nice, nice observatory here. Yeah, let's see what we got. Okay, after locating the locker label, Professor Withers, you find locks. So, we lock pick it, break the door, force the lock. Lock pick. Oh, right answer. Tilling, Tillingist's box. Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. That's another way of seeing the dark arts. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Who you gonna call? Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. Okay, so I guess if we show it to Weathers, he will give us the key. So that's downstairs. Let's have a look around before we go down. A pipe wrench. Which, which does more damage. <laughs> it does more damage than the knife. Craig will have 20% chance to stand. That sounds like a good weapon for... Ah, oh, she doesn't actually have a weapon. Okay, I'm going to give... I'm going to give him the pipe wrench. I'm going to give her the knife. What would she have there? Bromo caffeine. Stronger than 10 cups of coffee, this bromo caffeine will get you moving faster. Action point restoration. Five. Cool. Well, now she's got a weapon, so that's better than not having a weapon. So much chlorophyll is desolate, that it might take a while to find a needle in this proverbial haystack. You decide to open the small top drawer. You should be so lucky. You found a new item, Book of Restraint. An eldritch phrase that binds the target's limbs slow in movement. Durability new. So, plus, like, negative 70. So I guess that's like a spell. Okay. Uh, let me give that to her also. Since she's a parapsychologist, she probably will handle that better. Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book ah, of spells. we can find grimoires, what beautiful. What doing at the university, I cannot say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Agreed. Awesome, so we can get magic and it's like in the modern world where we can use grimoires to potentially get like, I don't know, Fireballs, we're going to get lightning spells. Can't wait to see that. What, how this progresses. So much clutter for the desk that it might take a while to find a needle in this proverbial haystack. You should be so lucky we've already did that. Yeah, I think I've already checked here. Nothing. Bookcase in the tidy. Okay, so there's nothing else. I guess we look at the telescope. Once the pride of the Miskatonic University, Miskatonic University Astronomy Department, this outdated telescope hasn't seen much use in recent years. Okay, 
It's like I can't go down to the lower levels yet, so let's just go out and see what Weathers has to say. Look here, Norman. See the odd things in this box of Wilhelminas? Whatever she was researching, it was far more than that comet. I don't see what this has to do with her death. We saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. Wilhelmina left Arkham earlier this year, and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some indication of the purpose of her travel. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. Working as an ensemble, we're much more likely to succeed. What do you say we join forces? You're right, of course. Here, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. What was that sound? It came from next door. My office? Who's in there? Okay, let's go check the office. An engraved blast plate on the door. Will I mean that thing ass is slightly ajar open? Door is being unlocked. And the intruder has vacated the scene. No doubt he was looking for some some occult. Whoa. Oh no. What was that commotion? There's nobody here. Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched, and recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Look there. Even the safe is broken open. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. Probably should look around before we go chasing whoever that is. Safe and Professor telling us office has been forced open, presumably by the same culprit who ransacked the place. It's now left inside the safe. A series of notes written Professor telling us distinctive hand. They appear to be nothing more than observations on her students, which she apparently liked to pair off like a matchmaker. While I'm using the notes, don't appear useful to investigation. You feel at peace, plus one sanity gain. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little thing, you know, things that make you a piece, make you more sane, and things that are going to mess with your head, like cultish activity. Case, what's this? Bookcase. Find a book by the notorious occultist Alistair Crowley, titled The Treatise on Astrology. Awesome, you can't have a, you can't have a game that has the occult as a theme without mentioning either Alistair Crowley or John Dee. <laughs> What's this? See Edward Hooper's painting house by the railroad. Stark vertical and horizontal lines as well as its striking colour pattern seem unsettling in this context. Judging by Kay. their clothes, these are the same people who were in the professor's house. Yep, they definitely look like cultists to me. See, this is what I kind of love about this game, is like, games like this can kind of be a bit slow, you just start investigating um, a mystery and like going on with the story, but this, these we like combat scenarios kind of spice this game up, which is pretty cool. Her Stop them. 
Well, he's always looking for it, though. It's intriguing. Who are these the interlopers? Definitely Deal with them while the others escape. Intriguing as, I guess, any real murder mystery is. Especially if it's set in the H.P. Lovecraft universe. Okay. Damn, we all took a sanity check. Right, okay, so... Let's gotta go first. Let's do some movement. Up to this guy and hit him in the head with a pipe wrench. For seven. And he's stunned. During the course of the game, your investigators will see their status affected by various conditions, some positive, some negative. Whenever an investigator is affected, you'll receive immediate feedback indicating this condition. This feedback will fade, but the portrait will display a, a buffed or debuffed icon. Cool. So next, this guy. Uh, no, we will shoot. This guy here. Okay, in turn. So let's try. Let's try and cast a spell. She got an eye patch on her glasses. Looks like she has like some kind of eye patch. Oh, it's like a monocle kind of thing. One one eye has a glass on it. Yeah. Okay. So, book of restrain. Three action points on this one. Oh, so we get a little spell effect and he's restrained. Uh, okay, let's end our turn. So this guy to go. Even though he's restrained, he can still move, but maybe he couldn't move as far as he would normally have. Yeah, let's go for another smack on the noggin. Ah, he's down. Nine. Oh, and he's left a pool of blood on the floor. Nasty. Okay. And... Yeah, I guess he still has movement. And turn. So this guy... Eight. Keep it range, no point. I guess we can overwatch. That means if the guy moves, we shoot him again. Uh, let's see what she does with the knife. She may need to move first. Six, nice. And her turn. You feel? No, you hear? No, 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 what is this? This is wrong, your head's about to explode. All investigators must check their sanity. What was that sound? Did I miss a cue? Let's pipe wrench this guy. Ah, he's dead. Combat's pretty cool, like I say. Oh, who was that screaming? Like I say, it kind of spices up the whole exploring the murder mystery. That scream is coming from down the corridor. Oh no, the students! Makes me wonder why their opponents are going to have further than cultists. Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's go! Oh, they've all taken a sanity check. So I guess there's no loot to be had from the from the burglars. Where did that scream come from now? Wasn't Doctor Withers, was it? I guess we see what's going on here. Withers keeps casting a fierce, a fretful glance at the door. He appears frightened that it might burst open at any moment. What was that confounded noise? He says, "You ought to investigate. I'll keep an eye on Mr. Vincent here." Okay. I'll go through here, ah. So we ain't, we ain't been here yet. Let's see what we got. 
That scream came from right around here. This was Wilhelmina's classroom. It sounds as though some students have locked themselves in. Who? Who's out there? It's me, Professor Crane. Are you all right in there? We're safe, but some strange people attacked us. We managed to barricade ourselves inside. You stay put until we've dealt with them. Did you see which way they were heading? They ran down the next corridor. Be careful, Professor. They look dangerous. After we handle those burglars, we should come back here. If this was Professor Tilling's classroom, we might find clues inside. Okay. I suppose you deserve a rest now and then, after all you've been doing. Totally, it's a different uh, department. In the university, you wouldn't find any concern of Professor Tillinghast there. Okay. May as well examine everyone we can. Yeah, more cigarettes. It's not the most glamorous job of searching this garbage bin might turn up a clue. Look through. Empty. Look through. Wrong. Empty. Bullets, nice. I don't know why there'd be bullets in the bin, but they're useful. Come here, you! And another fight, go. Cool. Help me! We must protect the students. Protect civilians. Some fights will require that you protect civilians. Make sure that you protect them. Use items or spells on them as needed. Okay. On guard, basically. We want them dead. Okay, well let's solve that then. Let's let's move. This guy can move. Come his defense. Stand between him and the attacker. And then smack him on the head with a pipe wrench. Well, I only have two action points. I guess I must use three to walk this far. Yeah, okay, punch. For easily two damage. Eight damage. Let's use Overwatch. If any of them move, we can shoot them. And let's. Let's just move in and stab them. With a one-eyed parapsychologist. I only have one movement left. Okay. That's quite a lot. It takes quite a lot of action points to move. I should have just cast them in. In turn, I guess. So that's what Overwatch does if they move, they get shot. Help me. Okay, pipe wrench. Ah, uh, one of the colors goes down. He might have enough to attack. Again, he's got two, can he attack? Can't punch. Yeah, but he can move. So let's move him in front of this guy. Act as a tank. 
And this guy let us uh, shoot this one. Oh, wrong one. I can't overwatch in turn. Um. Okay, I guess he's a bandage on him. Yeah. Or just try and kill one of them. They've got 14 and 13, they've still got quite a lot of hit points, but then. Let's just try and knife this one. So, can I use this on the guy? I guess just try and pipe wrench. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. I guess... Ah, there we go. Bandage, use on this guy. There we go. And we still have three action points left. Cool, we can club this guy. Probably to death. Fourteen. Critical. Evil cultists. Uh oh, our bullets. Okay, so I guess we go. How do we reload? Maybe we can't reload out of combat, that uh, doesn't seem to be a way to reload. I guess it just punch him. <coughs> and that should be alright. Six damage. Okay, walk and stab. Help me. Okay, pipe wrench guy. Club him. Are you all right? Thank you. I think I'll be fine. It's mostly shock. This was just a diversion. We need to catch up to the men that were in Professor Tillinghast's office. Yeah, we have some bandages I probably should use on this guy. And we should reload the bullets. Are you hurt? No, just bruised. Some men in weird costumes knocked me down. Which way did they go? They ran right into that classroom. More bandages. <laughs> Filthy bandages. Plain cloth bandage, simple, okay. Take them anyway. Who are you? 
you people. There they are. They have the professor's things. Get them back. These fools mustn't stop us. Deal with them. Okay, another. Hopefully, we retrieve some of these guys. Uh, let's go to move here. Damn, I'm gonna shoot that guy, that was not right. Uh, okay, let's cast. Restrain. On this one. I love the animation of the book, how you open it like it's, yeah, it's like uncontrollable, dark magic's flowing out of it. It's pretty cool. Yep, got that. Spell books allow the investigator to ma manipulate unfathomable energies for a spell books equipped. The investigator can't use Overwatch, no matter the nature of the spell. Some also may have unknown effects on your group or enemies, because you never know what you're going to get when you mess with the dark arts. Oh no, she has a gun. Okay. Uh. Mythos, fat sanity, and you feel the awful gaze of the great old ones on you. Despair gnaws at your remaining sanity. Increase the chances of failing your next sanity check until the next scenario. Oh, we're starting to lose sanity here. Now that's kind of brutal way to go, but we had to be done. Yeah. Still two points left. Don't think I can move. Can I move close to him and then punch him? Can't punch. Good shit though. And we can overwatch. I guess you should do some stabbing. Damn, that cost three action points for her. Okay, we can stab. But you can overwatch that direction. Oh, there's a reload icon there. The last time I couldn't find the reload. For looking right at it. Looks like they kill one of the students. Damn, she vicious. Blood everywhere. It's a bloodbath. Thus to all tyrants and uh, office burglars. Sounds less grand when I put it that way. Anyhow, let's see what you stole. Yes, let's. Robbing the robbers. It would all seem a bit tawdry if it weren't so poetic. Mm. 
the unmoving body of one of the strangely garbed intruders. He won't be terrorised the students any longer, but perhaps he carried identification, or better yet, a clue. An unsuitable action makes the Mythos clock go faster. Yeah, yes, we know that. Search thoroughly. Yes, search thoroughly. Oh, that was not the right one. Look. We all took a sanity hit. The man's core produces no clues. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. The unmoving body of one of the strangely garbed intruders. He won't be terrorising the students any longer, but perhaps he carried identification, so pat down. The wrong one again, who searched the other thing. A search of the corpse turns up later from the head of the Department of Science and Astronomy at Grant's Professor Tillingist exclusive use of the science lab for a time. Reading between the lines, you presume she intended to perform an experiment there. I am found. Letter from the director. This letter indicates that Professor Tillingist reserved the science lab for some experiment. Ah, maybe one guy should smoke a cigarette to give you his sanity. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Need a bandage anyway. And calm your nerves, bro. You only got one sanity left. Have a cigarette. <laughs> nice. Okay. Tip. Paying it down should turn up a clue. In the dead man's pocket should draw a telegram addressed to Professor Tillingast. Alphonse Lanut is the traitor. Stop could pose threat to your life. Stop the herd. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. Sanity check. I am found a telegram mentioning Lanuit. Maybe it doesn't solve the mystery, but now we have a couple more names to go on. Alphonse Lanowit and the Herd. I don't recognize those names. Alphonse Lanwy, an unsavory character indeed. These clues might not make sense now, or we might be able to connect them to others later. I think that's all they took. We should return to Wilhelmina's classroom and tell the students the way is clear. That's the case. Let's check the classroom. If it was Professor Tillingus, we're bound to find some clue about what happened to her. Top of the podium is an outline for our talk on autumn constellations including Andromeda, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pegasus and Pisces. No advice. A sat during the style of a student's school bag. Empty, examine, quick look. Uh, examine. Good. Oh, we've got here. Spirit Athami. A ceremonial knife that protects the wielder from evil magic. Magic defense bonus plus two. Cool. And another cigarette. So explore this further later, I want to go back to the classroom before we go any do anything else. From the Arkham Gazette, Body Vanishes from Cemetery by Gerard White. The Arkham Gazette has learned that a body disappeared from the city cemetery early this morning. Police have questioned the man found on the scene, believing to him to be a witness and perhaps an employee of the cemetery. More information to come as the story unfolds. Oh, sanity kind of shattered there and this guy has zero sanity. Oh, the, the articles gave him a breakdown. Okay, try my card, self-mutilation. 
You're the one to blame. You deserve to be punished. You'll do it yourself. Low chance of losing health every few steps. Damn. Once an investigator's sanity reaches zero, a trauma will be inflicted on him or her. Your investigator can be affected by up to three different traumas simultaneously. A fourth trauma will upgrade an existing trauma. If your investigators accumulate too many traumas too quickly, it can change the course of events. These traumas can be purged by leaving the investigator at the office between scenarios. Damn, that's pretty cool mechanic. You read an article about a body being stolen. Have I proved myself to the villain? Why then I was... Okay. Well, his sanity's gone up, so that's good. We've already examined these things. I guess this is the classroom. It's not that classroom, must be back here. Ah, uh, surely it was through here. N ah, this one it was. No, it's locked. And which one was Velomina's classroom? Is it this one? It's a different department. You try to open the door, Professor tell me this classroom you feel heavy resistant. It seems those inside have barricaded the door. Are they gone? Calls the timid voice of a student. It's all clear, students. We've taken care of those brutes. Thank you, Professor. Let's make sure everyone is unhurt. Then let's have a look around this classroom. Tip. No social. Perhaps a soothing voice would calm this person. Okay. <laughs> Threaten, scare, calm down. Yes, student. With quiet words and a soothing voice, you manage to come, student. She thanks you with a smile. You've found a new item. Some caffeine. I think after we've investigated the classroom, we'll, we'll call it for this episode, but I'm definitely going to be playing this all the way to the end. It's intriguing. It's already got me kind of hooked. Notes the top of this desk outlining the way ancient cultures regarded the constellations, presumably the most recent topic addressed in this classroom. With your general guidance, the student begins making sense. I want a professor telling us to research assistance. Lately, the professor has been working on a project of her own. When I asked her about it, she said it was a project too advanced for me. I guess I was a little insulted, so I spied on her, and I saw her look through the books in the third bookcase from the back of the library, the one with all the dictionaries and encyclopedias. She seemed impatient for results, if only she'd let me help. <laughs> Thanks for the help, says a young woman. When you ask about Professor Tillingas, she says, She'd been spending a lot of time in the library lately. I know she kept a book in her bag. I didn't notice the title, but I saw the author's name was Y Page. If you can't find that book, I might tell you what she was re researching. The handwriting is less difficult to make out. The sense is going on. Deciphering a note, you'll find it describes astronomical, astronomical observations by one of Professor telling her students. A number of sequential dates are crossed off without notes, as if the Professor missed several classes. Student looks nervous, perhaps shaken by whatever he read in the paper. Have you heard he asked? Professor telling us body disappeared from the cemetery. Damn! Professor telling us body disappeared from the cemetery. The only witness is an Albert Hatcher, the gravekeeper. Whatever he saw drove him mad. What could it be? So it was the professor's body that was stolen from the cemetery. Jesus, okay. That's pretty grim. Professor Tillingest's body vanished from the cemetery? How ghastly. I concur, that is ghastly. Who on earth would steal my corpse? 
It must have been grave robbers, of course. It isn't as though I could have leapt up and walked away. Unless you did through some sort of black magic sorcery. C.H.P. Lovecraft, nothing's ever quite as it seems. This Albert Hatcher is our only witness. We should visit him when we're done here. Ooh, we get to go to a creepy graveyard in the next episode, guys. Stay tuned for that. The trick sometimes is asking the right question. Question. Did you question a student? She says, a few months ago, the professor asked me to return a book to the library. Return it without looking at what it was. All I remember is that it was a large yellow book. The plot thickens. Indeed it does. Very intrigued about by this altogether. I'm going to go to the cemetery next. Ooh. More dirty bandages. Let's take those. Small telescope pointed a window and toward another window. Whoever used this last was a peeping Tom. Ooh. Lock this play case full of rocks some with extraterrestrial origins. Damn. This is like astrology. Astronomy. Study of things in the heavens. Yeah, I guess we missed one seat. No, we got that. We got the bandages from that seat. Okay, so that is the classroom. The classroom fully studied. And it looks like our next stop is going to be... Is going to be the graveyard. So... Yeah. Going to end it here for now. This is uh, all, all already got me hooked. It's a really impressive game. Never heard of Arkham Horror before, but love a good murder mystery, and we add into the H.P. Lovecraft mythos. Well, it just becomes even more supernatural and occult and weird, and yeah, deep and intriguing. So, so yeah, I'm going to call it for this this uh, first part of the let's play. But definitely stay tuned for the next part. We'll be heading to the graveyard to interview this Albert character to see exactly he's he's gone mad as well. So we're going to, we're going to interview a mad gravedigger about the professor's corpse being stolen. Stay tuned for that guys.